please welcome CERN's Director General, Fabiola Gianotti. Thank you. Cher Michel, dear partners of the International Year of Basic Science for Sustainable Development and dear guests and friends, I would like to welcome you all most warmly here in the CERN Science Gateway, our new center for scientific education and outreach targeting the general public of all, of all ages uh, from five years upwards. For this special closing ceremony for the International Year of Bas Basic Sciences for Sustainable Development. First of all, let me thank Michelle, the colleagues at the International Union for Pure and Applied Physics, and all of the partners for making the, the International Year happen and for carrying forward the many activities that have taken place throughout the year. Through this very wide coalition of partners, the International Year has helped to nurture even closer ties among many different fields of science, all united in their desire to highlight the value and impact of fundamental research and generate and sustain support for it. These are ties that will endure, and they are, in their own right, an important outcome of the year. I would also like to thank the many policy and decision makers who are with us today for your support for fundamental research. We are grateful to your commitment, for your commitment, which enables exciting and truly transformative science at national and at international levels. That support is essential now, and I believe that it will become even more critical in the years ahead. A special welcome here to Ambassador Shaba Koroshiv, who helped to steer the International Year through the United Nations General Assembly. Thank you for being with us today. Fundamental research is a driver of innovation through the knowledge it generates, the technologies it develops, and the education and training of young people who go on to serve society in many different fields. The International Year has provided a platform for making those dimensions better known and also to generate concrete initiatives that can spread those benefits even further. There can be no doubt that basic sciences are crucial for the efforts to advance the sustainable development goals. Solutions based on knowledge of the universe, nature, nat nature and life are best placed to address the enormous challenges the planet and society faces. But science alone is not sufficient. We need policy frameworks and political commitment that can unlock the potential of science and ensure that benefits of science are shared equally. An important enabler for sharing the benefits of fundamental research is open science. Since the establishing of our organization almost 70 years ago, open science has been a value at CERN and a practical modus operandi, making results achievements and technologies available to all. Open science holds enormous potential for empowerment by facilitating equitable participation in scientific education and progress. I'm therefore particularly pleased that we were able to host yesterday, together with UNESCO, a special event to highlight how open science advances knowledge for the best of humanity. Science thrives on diversity but we know that there is still much to do to achieve a truly diverse and inclusive environment in science. With its global reach, the International Year has been a strong platform for bringing attention to this challenge. We also need to get better at engaging and empowering the next generation of scientists. It is therefore so encouraging to see many young people here today in the audience, and I know that there have been many valuable exchanges on this topic during the day. It is my hope that they will lead the activities in the international decades of science for sustainable development. It must be their decade. Above all, a key challenge for all of us is to strengthen trust in science in today's society, to overcome misconception about what, what, science, what science is, how it works, and its impact on society. This has also been a key dimension of the International Year, which must be carried on in the International Decade for Science for Sustainable Development. Trust is built through engagement and through dialogue. The CERN Science Gateway, where we meet today, is dedicated to communication, engagement, and dialogue, and we hope that this education and outreach center can also serve to enhance the visibility of and trust in science, and we are pleased 
to be sharing it with you today. As it has already been mentioned, today is the conclusion of an international year, but also the opening of an international decade. Efforts continue, and more importantly, partnership and collaboration continue to serve fundamental research and development. I congratulate everybody who has made the international year a great success and wish you a fruitful and interesting afternoon here at the CERN Science Gateway. Thanks, Anna.